Coral Tie versus Milk Tanket. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've got Coral Tie uh, builder here, Ben Hassan. He's flown here Eight, all the way from seven, the UK, six, making his Norlock Havoc debut. This is four, our first time that we've three, had a British builder two, one, here. Fight, side, robots fight. Up against Milk Tank. This is a brand new three pound version of their much beloved 12 pounder. Oh, wow. I wasn't gonna say anything, but I did hear there was a strategy meeting between these two teams. Early on, they said, let's work together oh, for this no, first half. Ben! Ben, oh, you no, lost one ben. of your wheels. Wow. Milk Tankette's just uh, dominating here. Oh! Oh! You were supposed to work together, Milk Tank, and not drop the glitter bomb on them. All right, wait. Oh, no! Oh, no! Whoa! Yes! Oh, that is incredible! This is a betrayal if I've ever seen one. These two teams worked together. They coordinated before this fight. They said, for the first minute of the fight, let's just team up on Brett the Brick. We're going to try to turn <laughs> Brett the Brick off. <laughs> and Milk Tank Ed worked with, uh, with uh, Coral Tank for just a second, but then immediately turned on them, dropping a glitter bomb inside the bot and now trying to set them on fire. This is incredible. This I is love a flame bot, Kyle. This is a heel turn for to Milk Tank Ed if I've ever seen one. Wow. I love it. This is a dominant design, Kyle. I think that Milk Tank Ed is winning this. 90 seconds left. Oh my, peeled up a piece of that side plastic there. I do have to say I'm a little concerned that this looks like it may be uncontained, uncontrolled fire, you know? It's as controlled as anything that Milk Tank does. <laughs> Good pin here, okay. Ben, down a, down a wheel with his waggle stick here. Being counted out. Ben, welcome to the US, bro. This is great. Ben is one of the uh, the founders of Bugglebots uh, in the UK. Absolutely, prolific builder over there. And uh, narrowly escaping the count out here, showing just enough controlled motion to keep this fight alive. Milk Tank at successfully pushing its opponent there <laughs> up against the, uh, the house bot. And uh, Ashley there is transfixed by the performance. Incredible. 30 seconds left. It looks like all of their gas is gone. All that Milk Tank at really needs to do is just stay mobile here. Wow, this is actually quite a bit closer than you think. 10 seconds left. It looks like both of them have escaped the countout. Incredible. This one will go to the judges. I see a little bit of smoke. Yeah, I'm not sure which bot that came out of, honestly. The angle from the camera there was a little deceptive. And that is the end of the match. Wow, flamethrower. Flamethrower and glitter inside the bot. And by the way, glitter is not healthy inside your robot. That's not what you want in there. No, yeah, don't, uh, don't breathe in glitter at all. All right, we're gonna go into a replay here. They popped the uh, the glitter balloon off the back, and look at that surprise! It's a flamethrower. You think a cow would hate a barbecue, but uh, no, they love the fire. Yeah, all about the fire. Uh, I'm very proud of them. That was great. Now we're gonna go to the judges' decision. I don't want to sway them, but you know I am wearing the milk tank outfit here. You didn't have to sway them. Boom, boom, boom. It is a unanimous judge's decision. Incredible. The winner is Milk Tanker. It's what uh, Tweety would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It is exactly what Tweety would have wanted.